Hi learners, welcome to Innose Commerce Tutorials. If you are seeing this channel or video for the first time, kindly hit subscribe button so that you can get to see more in the future. And if you've been with the channel, kindly share the video to other learners. Okay, then without any of time, grade 12 in today's lesson, we'll be looking at preparatory examination 2025 economics paper 2. So economics paper 2, we need to keep in mind that we've got two main topics which are microeconomics and contemporary economic issues so in this case grade 12 will be looking at section a specifically all right then we know very well that section a it is out of 30 then uh, the time that is allocated to us to complete it is 20 minutes okay then we start section a which is compulsory question one Various options are provided as possible answers to the following questions. Choose the answer and write only letter A to D next to the question numbers 1.1.1 to 1.1.8 in the answer book. For example, 1.1.9 D. Okay. Right, then we start 1.1.1. Which of the following is an example of a near perfect market in South Africa? Okay, then in this case, grade 12, we need to look at our keywords to say an example of a near perfect market in South Africa. So you, you need to keep in mind that uh, in reality we do not have perfect markets. So in this case we are going to look at our options. The first one we've got uh, agricultural markets, we've got the mobile network operator, the banking sector, the airline industry. So in this case uh, the possible answer grade 12 according to our keyword it is uh, agricultural markets. So in this case a is the correct answer for 1.1.1. So in this case, for example, the Shibobo uh, maize meal and also the, the Pride maize meal, they are one and the same in terms of agriculture. We know that uh, the maize meal, it is used to prepare pap as one of the favorite uh, dishes in South Africa. Okay, so I hope that this is clear. Then we move on to the next question. 1.1.1 products of a monopolistic competitor. So in this case, we need to look at our keyword to say products of a monopolistic. Monopolistic. Then we know very well that these products they are differ differentiated. So D is the possible answer for 1.1.2. Okay. Then 1.1.3. Uh, in a monopoly market structure, the entry of new firms. So in this case, we need to look at our keywords. Grade 12. In this case. Uh, monopoly as one of our market structures then uh, then we look at the entry of new firms so we know very well that uh, the new entry it is completely blocked so B is the correct answer for 1.1.3 all right then we move on to the next question 1.1.4 Right. To increase the mobility of labor, the government can introduce, then now we look at our keywords to say the mobility of labor. Then in this case, the government needs to introduce training programs, training programs. So in this case, C is the correct answer for 1.1.4. Then we move on to 1.1.5. A measure that tracks price changes of all final goods and services produced in a year. So in this case, a measure, a measure is our keyword to say a measure, a measure uh, that tracks all the final goods and services produced. So in this case, our possible answer for 1.1.5, sorry, the correct answer is all inclusive inflation, all inclusive inflation. So in this case, A is the correct answer. All right, and then we move on to 1.1.6. Which type of country holds the most untapped potential for tourism growth? Which type of country? Then our keyword, which type? Then which type of country with most untapped potential for tourism? So in this case, C is the possible answer to say developing. So developing, which is C. So a developing country like that of South Africa and many other African countries. But you need to keep in mind that in as much as South Africa is 
is developing but it has some places that can convince you that it is developed especially the likes of Johannesburg and the the, the surrounding suburbs such as Sentin uh, Kailami Midrand and so forth then when you are in such places then you could be convinced that now South Africa is 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 a developed country okay then we move on to the next question uh, 1.1.7 all right, what do we call measures that are employed to prevent extinction of ecosystem? Okay, then what do we call measures that are employed to prevent extinction of ecosystem? So these are our keywords. So 1.1.7, we know very well that we are referring to preservation. Preservation, so preservation, preservation is the correct answer. So B is the correct answer okay then 1.1.8 then we know very well that we are left with a d then which of the following would mostly sub be subject to environmental taxes so d is the correct answer so d is our correct answer okay so remember that trick that you need to have two a's two b's two c's and two d's so just to confirm then we'll just go back a little then we've got the uh, We've got A, we've got uh, D, then we've got B, we've got C, we've got A, we've got two Cs, we've got two Bs and two Ds. All right, then we, without any of time, grade 12, we move on to 1.2. Choose a description from column B that matches an item in column A. Write only letter A to I next to the question numbers 1.2.1 to 1.2.8 in the answer book. For example, 1.2.9. Then in this case, we've got Pareto efficiency, we've got patent, we've got competition tribunal, we've got oligopoly, deflation, tertiary sector, purchasing power, and biodegradable. Okay. And now, what is Pareto efficiency? So Pareto efficiency means that no individual can be made better off without making another worse off. Okay. So in this case... Uh, the one the answer for 1.2.1 it's f so f is the correct answer then patent what is a patent or a patent then it has to do with the businesses so in this case uh, the exclusive right to manufacture a product so in this case a is the correct answer for 1.2.2 all right then we move on to 1.2.3 competition tribunal. So competition tribunal, uh, it is responsible for promoting competition. So uh, D is the possible answer for 1.2.3. All right, then we move on to the next question, 1.2.4 oligopoly. What is, a oligop what is an oligopoly as one of the market structures? Then 1.2.4, the possible answer is a few sellers dominate the industry so h is the possible answer so the likes of vodacom uh, telcom celsi and so forth those are the sellers that dominate the market okay there are very few but they dominate the market then deflation 1.2.5 is the opposite of inflation so deflation the possible answer is b a decrease in the general price level so B is the correct answer for 1.2.5. All right, then we move on to the next question, tertiary sector. So this is the sector that deals with services. So C is the correct answer to say uh, hotels, restaurants, parks, recreation, and services. So we know very well that tertiary sector is responsible for services sector or any services that are provided in the economy. Then the purchasing power, 1.2.7, the, the correct answer is G, what a currency can buy. So that is the purchasing power. So G is the correct answer for 1.2.7. Then biodegradable, the possible answer is it can be decomposed and assimilated into the environment. So I is the correct answer for 1.2.8. Right, great 12. Then we move on to the devil. 
to the devil. The devil is a liar. But remember, if you know your story, then the devil cannot be a lie in this case. And I normally tell you to say there are two. There is at least one or two that are quite easy for us to identify in this question. So, for example, give one of the give one term of each of the following descriptions. Write only letter, only the term next to the question number 1.3.1 to 1.3.6 in the answer book. Abbreviations, acronyms, and examples will not be accepted. All right, then costs that remain the same regardless of the law of the level of production. So this is one of the simplest that uh, we get to identify costs. So we're looking at the costs that remain the same regardless of the level of production. So in this case, this is fixed costs. So costs. So this is fixed cost fixed costs so these are fixed costs costs sorry all right then products that vary in appearance size and quality so these are differentiated products so the correct answer is differentiated 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 or one can say these are heterogeneous these are heterogeneous products as the opposite of homogeneous homogeneous products all right then 1.3.3 the minimum amount that employ employers are legally allowed to pay to the workers so this is known as the minimum wage minimum wage minimum wage all right then i hope that this is straightforward then a variety of plants and animal species living in an environment okay then a variety of plants and animals so this is what we refer to as biodiversity 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 all right, then 1.3.5, extremely rapid conditions where the general price levels increase by more than 50%. So what are our keywords in this case? Rapid, it means they change too much to a point that is 50%. So in this, in this case, we say this is hyper, hyperinflation. Hyperinflation. All right, then we move on to the last question. A promotional strategy used to attract international visitors. So this is promotional. Then the, way, the key word here is to promote. Then in this case, this is what we refer to as marketing. Marketing. Okay, great. Well, this brings us to the end of section A. Please make sure that you are subscribed to see videos of this nature. And please do share to other friends in your school and in different schools who are doing economics. There will be more videos that I'll be doing in preparation to uh, final exam 2025. Okay. Thank you so much. Please don't forget to subscribe. Enjoy the rest of the day. Bye.